Hi, I'm David. I'm Stacey. And we're from Leeds, England, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. Parked here at the Flying J in uh, Fargo, North Dakota tonight. In the last spot that was available, and it was very hard to squeeze in here, as you can see the pumps are right in front of me here. I'm gonna try to squeak out of here without hitting anything. onto these pumps a few years ago and they brought them maybe one too many one too close to the parking spots there because it's very tight to get in and out of that spot now but I did it there we go all right look at that okay now this is the entrance I don't want to exit here so I got to go to a u-turn and go out the actual exit This is one of those old, old flying J's that uh, was built ages ago and then sort of updated and renovated, which it's really nice now, but the parking lot is definitely not up to par with what I would call modern standards of flying J. But then again, you know, I'm from Canada and I've seen a lot worse. All right, there we go. So we gotta go out the back here. Look at this guy. The huge flags on top of his truck. Does he drive down the highway like that? Is that legal? Well, I guess so. Why wouldn't it be, right? Look at this guy on the left here. Bumper stickers galore. <laughs> Good for him. Good for him. He likes attention. He got it. So uh, we have oh, about six, six and a half hours to get to the border. We're gonna cross at North Portal, Saskatchewan from Portal, North Dakota, and go up through Regina, Saskatoon, and then make our way up towards Fort McMurray, Alberta. Way up there in the heart of oil country, Alberta. I'm actually kind of sad and upset this morning. As some of you know, I like to play some uh, computer games on my spare time. Whenever I'm, I'm really big into simulators and stuff like that. So I was really big into Farm Simulator 19. I still am. Love that game. And uh, I had been building up my farm on there for probably three weeks. I had over 200 hours Point. logged into that game. Then turn right on 45th Street South. And this morning I woke up and my save game was gone. Just disappeared. I checked all the backups, I checked the cloud, it's just gone. It's like somebody went in there and deleted all of my work. So frustrating. But we're gonna start over, and it said I was uh, building a farm in Ravenport, which is sort of like an American area. I went over to Felsbrunn now, which is a German area in the same game. I'm gonna build a German farm. Can't believe all that work I put into it. I sort of just have it running in the background just to pass the time when I'm bored, right? So it's not like it's a big loss, but still, it's a lot of time that I put into that. And I had big plans for that farm. I was gonna be a big shot, I was getting there. Had all my own equipment already. All paid off. I was, I was pretty successful. Someone took that away from me. I don't know if someone did it or just the game did it. Once the game just uninstalled itself one day, for no reason, I went to open it up and it said you need to install the game. I've been playing this for months. Turn right on 45th Street South. So that was my frustration this morning. Super sad, I lost my farm. But I'm gonna take what I learned from building up that one, I'm gonna build an even better one. Do any of you play simulators or any computer games like that? That's the only real computer games I like. I like a little bit of first person shooter, like sort of like Call of Duty and stuff. But I don't know, I, I, I like the simulators, some weird. Or maybe you're weird, I don't know. My farm is gone. I am so pumped right now. I'm taking my break here in, uh, well, here at my usual Casey's General Store truck stop in Carrington, North Dakota, and I figured I would YouTube how to fix my game. Oh wait, what happened? It just closed itself. 
What happened? No, that's not what's supposed to happen. No, 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 no. I YouTubed how to fix my problem, get my saved game back. That it was actually backed or it was actually backed up. And I thought it was working. One second. 252 hours worth of game time that I put into this. Come on, you gotta work. You gotta work. Come on. Come on. Come on. Open up. Open up. It just shuts the game down. Well, what in the world? Oh, my farm. I want my farm back. Why won't you give me my farm back? Oh, it's frustrating. Frustrating. Let's try it. Okay, let's... That's really frustrating. Let's try it one more time. Let's try it with this one. See if it'll load this one. I used a different folder to restore this one. Okay, it's loading up in the corner over there. Loading. Come on. Come on. I believe in you. I believe in you. Abracadabra. Whatever I need to do and work. Come on. <gasps> There's the start button. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. <gasps> there it is, there it is. There it is. Okay. <gasps> There's my tractor. Okay. There's my tractor. What else we have? There's my combine. There's my other tractor. Yes. Yes, we got it back. Good. Oh, what's this? Oh yeah, I had leased this tractor because I was seeding this field. Uh, I need to get my money for that. Ah, 6,000. Yes! Thank God for YouTube. It was a simple fix. I just had to go to the backup folder, like back around and take the files out of this backup folder, copy and paste them and delete the old folders in the old file and then repost them with the new files from the backup file. And here we go. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, thank God. Thank you, God. 252 hours I have put into this game. Like, over the course of weeks. I only put in, like, a little bit here, a little bit there. It's not like I play it all day, every day. Just, you know, I still sometimes have it running in the background because it's a simulator, right? I can tell my, my worker, Jose, to uh, go and plant my field or seed my field. And he goes and seeds the field while I go do something else. And then I go and uh, get my other helper, Jorge, and he goes and harvests my other field while I also fertilize my neighbor's field for him and I make money with that. And uh, Juan does that for me as well. So I have all my workers that do all my work for me, right? I'm just the boss and I just sort of oversee everything and make sure my farming activities are all taken care of and that money keeps coming in, right? So I don't have to actually sit in front of the computer the whole time. That's why I've I really like this game because as a truck driver and I don't have a lot of spare time. It's sort of a game I can sort of just have running in the background and I don't... It's fun. It's fun, okay? Stop laughing at me. It's fun. I got some good workers working for me too. Diesel. Diesel weasel. Well, we decided to go for a walk here, Carrington, North Dakota. It's a beautiful day and trying to get out of the truck this summer as much as possible. And walking again, like I did two years ago. So we walked all the way across town. The truck stop we're at is all the way down there over the bridge. And I forgot to take the GoPro, so we're left with my phone and the bad mic. <laughs> That's okay, at least you guys still hear me, right? Diesel, what you smell there? We're in the ditch here for a reason, buddy. Same reason I brought the poop bags with, buddy. Give her, go on, have at it. Find a good spot, man. All of this grass here. Take your pick. You're the only one here, man. Pick the best spot. Looks like they got like a little pool over there and stuff. Nice little town. It's very nice. It's just like all of Manitoba, you know? Like Canada's just up the road there behind me. Saskatchewan's up there, so this region feels very much at home to me because it's exactly like my home region. It's beautiful in the summertime. There's no place I'd rather be in the summertime than in my home region, but in wintertime, there's, uh, I'd, I'd rather be almost anywhere else. But summers are just amazing. It makes up for it, I guess. I guess if we have those terrible winters, at least we get beautiful 
beautiful summer. Maybe it's just that we appreciate the summer more. All right, I've said that before because we uh, we have such long cold winters. So when we finally get warm weather like this, it's it's a little bit more appreciated than for people who get this every day or almost every day all year. Though I I think I could get used to uh, having the ocean close by pretty quickly. I think I'd be okay with that. Is that the spot, Diesel? No, 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 don't, no, don't eat. No, 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 no. No, drop it. Drop it. No eating poop. What is it with our dogs? Diesel, Chevy, and Frank. If they find poop outside, I don't mean to disgust you right now. I'm sorry if you're eating, but do your dogs do that too? If they find any, they don't just sniff it, they eat it. What is wrong with our dogs? Carrington, is that what I said the town's name was? I can't remember now. That's the town name anyways, if you were wondering. I'm sure this little flower garden here will look a lot better in about a month. Looks like this town is much like Steinbeck. Church on every corner. They gotta do something about that, that cross in the center there. I'd actually like to fix that for them. That's, that's, I don't like that. That should be fixed right away. Diesel. Maybe next time we come through here. Gotta remember to pick up, I'd have to figure out who owns the sign. I don't wanna just mess with it with, without their permission. It bothers me though. All these trucks coming down from Canada into the US. That guy was waving. Maybe he watches the vlogs. Diesel. Maybe he's gonna watch this vlog. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, so we gotta go all the way down this road, up over the hill, back to our truck, and we'll get going. It's a good day now, especially since I got my farm back. Right, Diesel? 252 hours worth of farming, almost down the tubes. I'm not gonna lie, I was really upset about that this morning. Oh. I only lost about maybe 20 minutes of game time. I guess in that last 20 minutes I was playing last night just before I went to bed, I only, like I said, I only put maybe 20 minutes into it. Uh, maybe I shut the computer down? Oh, during the night, I turn all the power off for all of my uh, plugs and all my outlets during the night because I don't want my batteries to die over the night. So my computer died over the night. Now usually, if my computer dies, it still saves saves my game, or at least I can go back to my last save. But this time when the computer died and shut off, not properly, I guess it corrupted the file, and I had to go in there and fix it. I don't know what happened. The point is, it's fixed, I got my farm back. I'm a happy farmer. Trucker farmer. You are such a nerd. I'm gonna walk over here. You're gonna walk over here. You are embarrassing me. Such a nerd, you and your farming game. You're not a farmer, man. You're a trucker. You don't gotta be so mean about it, Diesel. I'm a farmer in my heart when I'm playing the game. I've actually learned quite a bit about farming from the game. It's a good educational thing. We're coming up on our buddy, just on the other side of this sign here. Everybody get ready to say hello. You ready, Diesel? There he is. Wonder what his name is. Just happened to be walking past the town dealership here. All these new Silverados. I'm still not a fan of them. Though they're growing on me, you know, eventually. Like this high country is pretty nice. Look at this. It's it's nice, yeah. The main thing, the main complaint I have on it is the front end. I don't like that they shortened the front end. Like they shortened the hood here from the old models, but they added that length into the cab. They also made the the box, pardon me, the bed deeper and wider, right? Though this one's really small. But I mean yeah, they're nice trucks. I'd buy one, but I like mine better. What's it going for here? High Country is selling for 63,000. It's not focusing. Come on. 
63,385 US dollars. It's uh, probably close to 90,000 Canadian dollars, probably somewhere around 85 or something. But that is the high country. Uh, they'll grow on me, you know. I, I just wish they wouldn't have shortened the hood. That's my only complaint. And what do we got over here hiding behind this last one? Oh. Oh. Well, hello there. What's your name? Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only ten I see. Beautiful. Ooh, it's a high country, too. 2500 Duramax. Oh. Oh. Diesel, we better get out of here. We better get out of here. I gotta go. I, I'm, I'm married. I'm married. I gotta go. I better get out of here. That was a close one, Diesel. That was a close one. But I'm a faithful, loyal husband. Keep walking, Josh. Just keep walking. Wow. Look at that house over there. That's a beautiful home. You know, Britt and I would love to build a house like this on our property. Just, you know, with all the modern amenities. I don't know when this house was built. Oh, it says right there. Must be some kind of like historic, historic place. Let's see, what does it say? It says the Putnam House. Available for rent? Really? That would be cool. Putnam was 1907. Look at that. Velva. Welcome to Velva, North Dakota. Yeah, that's right. Look at this place. They got uh, grain bins and farms, little general store, a sign that says Velva. 1,300 friendly people. That way. Really? We missed it, Diesel. Shoot. That sign said 1,300 friendly people and then had an arrow pointing to our right. I guess that's where the town is. We've actually gone through a walk through Velva before. There's a truck stop right up here on the right, Senex. And I've stopped here for night once or twice and uh, it was last summer, right? Yeah, and then, yeah, Velva, this is the town with that crazy siren that goes off at noon. Scared the daylights out of me. I was walking right past Town Hall at noon and the siren goes off. To me, it sounds like an air raid siren or like some, like we're under attack. So I'm looking around, no one else is panicking. I'm like, we're under attack. No one else is panicking. Why are you not panicking? The Germans are coming. <laughs> it's, it sounds like a war siren, but apparently that's just sort of like the old church bells, except now they just have this really loud, annoying siren that can be heard for five miles. Every day at noon. Now, can you imagine if you worked a night shift and that thing blasted right across the street from you? Every day at noon, trying to sleep? <laughs> I'd like to go back to the church bells better. I like those better. Ring those things at noon. Those were nice. Some, some cathedrals had really nice, or some uh, churches had really nice sets of bells where they would like ding a song, like, is that how you say that? Ding a song? Like ding a ling a song? They'd sing a song for you, right? A bunch of different bells. Beautiful. I love hearing that at noontime. At noontime and Sunday mornings. Like that, that's that's nice. A wailing siren? You replaced it with a wailing siren? All right, Velva. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever makes you happy. So we got about another 100 miles, a little over 100 miles to the border at North Portal, Saskatchewan. And I'll be driving till 2 or 3 in the morning, central time, I'm sure. I want to get far enough today that, uh, oh, what's your problem? Well, I'm not going fast enough for you or what? Fine then, you're speeding. So are you. Hey, speeders. And we're at the last fuel stop before Canada. You know what that means. Actually, there are more fuel stops before I get to the border, but this is the last one that I have a fuel card for. Ooh, 
Look at pump number one too. <laughs> Aren't we lucky? Look at us. Diesel, we're special. We get the special pumps right by the doors. Fuel are on up here because once we cross the border, we got a carbon tax to deal with. I don't want to support that. to wash my windshield again shoot oh well too late now I've already set my mind to leave <clears throat> we got a long way to go today yet too so I want to get going been dragging my feet just a little bit today because I have the time to and sometimes when I have when I have that opportunity I take advantage of it full disclosure sometimes trucker Josh drags his feet Now it's, ride on US two. now it's time to hammer down. No more dragging feet, no more laziness. Focused energy on the road and getting to where we need to get to. I want to get to Saskatoon tonight. Saskatchewan, way up there. That's a long ways yet. Probably another six hours at least. And I'll be driving straight into the sun again. That's great. An hour and a half we'll be in Canada. There was a cat that just raced across the road in front of me. Bolted across the border without going through customs. That's an illegal cat right there. Arriving at 39. What if we're gonna chase him down? Arrest him? No? Pardon me, sorry, it's an undocumented cat. Oh well, they'll deal with him, I guess. He'll probably get a nice house, benefits or something. Am I going too far with my jokes? I'm sorry. Just joking around, guys. Calm down. It's funny. Laugh. So this is Saskatchewan, Canada. Welcome. Well, I guess they should welcome me. I'm technically from Manitoba. This isn't my home province, so I should be getting the welcome. But nobody's here to welcome me. The border guy didn't even say welcome. So ask me a bunch of questions and set me on my way. Where are you sending me, Mandy? 37 kilometers, turn right on Suras Avenue. Oh, that's a, that's an Estevan, right? They have a weird truck route that goes around their little tiny main street downtown. And we're back in Canada. The true north. Strong and free. Does it look strong and free? I think it does, look at it. Just look at it, look at that. I'm in a weird mood today. I think I had one too many coffees. I think I need another one. Diesel, should we stop for another coffee? I think you're acting all right. pretty weird already, man. You're talking to your dog for crying out loud. Man, I don't think you need any more coffee. You sure? I'm gonna get another coffee. 